Tornado is the first steam locomotive in the world to be fitted with the digital signalling system, with ETCS. We've got West Coast driving the train and using their safety case. We've got uh, test train officers from GTR. Then we've got uh, Hitachi, Atkins, Network Rail, etc. There's a huge collaboration of people that have made this happen. A lot of hard work and a lot of late nights. Testing night is a, a mixture of, of nerves and excitement. You're seeing the, the boards coming up, you know there's a movement authority expected. Is the system going to do what you expect? You then get that transition, you go, oh great, yes, this is actually viable, we can see this working. There we go, yeah, on site, 500 on site. feet. Yeah. One of the big concerns is the vibration and the general noise and atmosphere on the foot plate. And can the DMI be read at speed with the vibration, with the coal dust, with the glare from the fire? And, and that's, that's what we're testing here. One thing we have done is made sure that what we've done is sympathetic to the engine. So all the electrical systems we put on, there's almost nothing you will see from outside. So the photographers and people who remember these engines when they were originally running in the 1950s can still see the engine that they remember. That's very important. So this is the driver's work environment. The new equipment that we're placing into the cab is critical safety equipment. So whilst it needs to be out the way to avoid getting in the way of those existing driving tasks, it very much needs to be within the driver's view and reach because it's telling them critical safety information. This is a lovely looking thing and we don't want to come along and, and spoil the aesthetics and spoil the user experience, you know, these things are, are really joyful to drive. Chatting to some of the drivers today and getting that really good feedback, that's what you hope to come out at the end of this. The Charter and Heritage sector puts about £600 million a year into the economy and we don't want to lose that opportunity. It's amazing to see it working first hand, having the transitions work, seeing the movement authorities come through whilst we've got a driver pulling handles and levers, both work in harmony, uh, really great. Those things we've now been able to bake into future projects and future proposals going forward, so we're not having to relearn and redesign features and functions and systems, which we know are now working because it's been tested and been done. It's been an amazing journey for us really, seeing it operating and seeing John uh, working the engine with the DMIs operating. Um, that was tremendous. To see it actually working is really heartening. Um, and uh, it's a bit of a relief, to be honest, because there was some uncertainty. Um, so first movement authority to proceed onto the Cambrian. Uh, let's see, there was a bit of a cheer and a bit of a tear. Let's just say that. 